Hi guys and welcome to another edition of A Mother's World Biographies. My name is Fortes Lopez, writer and director of the short film and the book with the same namesake, A Mother's World. So why MSP, Missouri State Penitentiary? Uh, after the book was published and uploaded to Amazon, I had already been away from film for eight years. I moved away from the TV industry to the East Coast where I pursued a degree in nursing. I was always envious back then about the guys I went to school with who had their projects in the can and screened at film festivals. Uh, was I more budget conscious back then, financially challenged? Uh, I wasn't brave enough to max out on five credit cards and fund a project on my own. I never had that kind of money. I was, I was on that top ramen diet, living in the valley in my studio apartment. Uh, but since working and saving up money since then, I finally had a story I was passionate about. So I decided to hit up those same guys I went to school with and see if they were interested in my story, my mother's story. And as more hands were raised in favor of a shoot, I knew I had to find a location. The problem is, there are 24 chapters and 366 pages. What part of the book was I to shoot? And what was I gonna shoot it? I knew I couldn't shoot in the Philippines. That didn't make sense budget-wise, time-wise. There were too many variables. So I decided on having the story set on a military base. This allowed me to shoot the film in the States. Now the last three chapters of the book had that sort of crescendo or climactic end, which would leave an impression. So I decided on the prison scene where Mel, our lead actress, has to decide whether or not she would testify on behalf of the man who tried to right the wrong from her past and spare him a life behind bars or send the monster that harmed her years ago to the electric chair. Mel is a very religious person with no one to talk to. Her savior is what guides her to be successful. He, she, all that is spiritual instilled in her the confidence to overcome and reach for the impossible. What does it mean to save a life? To take away something that was never promised? Her decision would change the fate of everyone in question. What of her morality, the Ten Commandments, compassion for your fellow man, and not bearing the responsibility of having blood on your hands? It might be easy to condemn someone to death when you're not actually pulling the lever, but staring down the victim square in the eyes is unfathomable. But because of recent events, time had passed, and now what was a fleeting memory had turned into an evil all too real of a reality.